All right, I want to break something down. Tyrants have learned how to repackage their wares and to sell you on the fact that they're heroes who are protecting you and the planet. The modern environmental movement, if you read its own founding documents, was set up by eugenicists, people that believe they are the master group of humans, survival of the fittest, social Darwinism, and that it's their job to dominate and control and reduce populations. And their propaganda is everywhere. First, they make you guilty about the environment so that they can set the rules. They can care less about real environmental problems, genetic engineering and things like that, that are actually altering the very DNA of the global biosphere. No, they aren't worried about toxic waste. In fact, they end up owning the big mines and uh, cutting down rainforest. Just like World Wildlife Fund founder, you know, got caught funding big hunts for money, Prince Bernhard. Uh, of the Netherlands, himself a Nazi and founder of the Bilderberg Group and best buddies with Prince Philip, another eugenicist who calls for one-child policies and world population reduction. Now, I was in bed and I was uh, reading news and going over information when I came across this London Guardian article from the 17th, uh, a couple days ago, Sunday the 17th, and it ran this headline. And I want to illustrate the incredible hypocrisy that we're dealing with with these people okay if we need to die if there's too many people they need to go first now look at this Beckham's a bad example for families that's in the London Guardian and there were dozens more than 20 articles that I found just by putting that into a search engine demonizing him and it's the World Optimum Population Trust groups that I've interviewed, groups that I've researched. And here you have a family worth hundreds of millions of dollars. She's a big model and former music star, and he's a championship uh, soccer player, football as they call it in England. And they have had a fourth child, a daughter. They always wanted a daughter. They had three sons. Now they have their daughter. Now let's talk about facts first. From Japan to England, to the United States, to Canada, Germany, all industrialized nations, on average, have a 1.5 population replacement rate. That means for every mommy and daddy, you can pull these numbers up, they have 1.5 children. That's Italy, Japan, all of them average together. Japan's actually 1.3, Italy's 1.3. The United States is 1.5, unless you count the giant immigrant influx population. Okay? So number one, the West is dying. There are whole areas of Germany and France that are basically empty, and people are moving in from all over the world to buy the property because it's so cheap. Okay? There are whole cities that literally are half empty, and they teach the school children don't have more than one child. Meanwhile, you read this article, they say, we want laws, we want UN laws, we want to take people that have more than one child or two children and get rid of their tax breaks and move towards taxing them. We need to, and, and, and my wife, we, we have three children. She has had women come up to her in Whole Foods and get in her face that it's bad for the earth that we have three children. I want you to understand that. Now, you noticed, and this is the key, and then I'll get to the hypocrisy. You noticed I mentioned, and, and I've made quite a study of this. You can study it yourself. Notice I mentioned that from Japan to Canada, from the United States to Germany, from Australia to New Zealand, every industrialized country, including Russia, well, they have below 1.5 as well. Their government's different, though. They run ads telling folks to have children. They're not following the eugenics paradigm because they kicked the Soviets out who were part of that program. Not saying they're perfect, but countries that tell you to have children are certainly not part of the culture of death. Now, listen to me. Why from Japan to the United States is there not a replacement rate? So you can't pay for Social Security and think things are collapsing. Not enough folks to take care of the old. Because every study since the 50s, they even had them previous to that, but the big commission was the Royal Commission on Population 49 by His Royal Highness, put out by the King of England, admitted that once you industrialize a country, that people stop having as many children. It's a fact on average. And the U.S. and England said, well, but they'll become militarily active, they'll become dominant, they'll become self-sufficient, that our banks can't control them. So we'll keep them in economic degradation by giving them loans and, and, and paying off their leaders not to pay them back and, 
you know, running IMF World Bank scams, and then we'll mitigate them later with sterilization, vaccines, wars, famine. It's a State Department memorandum 20, uh, 200 uh, put out by Henry Kissinger. You can pull all this up. But any of you who've gone to college have been taught there's too many people and how great it is to get rid of folks. And, uh, you know, this is the new religion, and they admit eugenics is their religion. So that's the facts, that if they just industrialized the third world, they wouldn't have as many children, even if you believe there's too many people. The, the fact is it's going to plane off at $8 billion the UN admits. Now, look at this. Back to the report. Look at this. If you read this article, they totally demonize the family and say, we've got to start going after folks that have more than two children. Uh, Ted Turner says one. Now, let's minimize this article. Here's another one, and this was all over the news when he was at the UN summit last year. Ted Turner, who has five children, owns more than 15 jet aircraft, the largest landowner in the U.S., has a carbon footprint estimated to be 400 times that of an average family similar numbers with Al Gore, not, not quite as bad. This is a guy with five children who gave his money to the UN, but it was actually tax-free, so he made money out of it, for eugenics and population reduction, and he has five children. But it continues. The World Optimum Population Trust that's quoted in that story uh, demonizing the football player and his wife for having four children, one of their chief funders, and I had the head of the group on a few years ago and brought this up, and she hung up on me. She got so mad, is Prince Philip. And I brought up, well, Prince Philip has four children and a whole bunch of grandchildren. That's the Duke of Edinburgh, uh, Queen Elizabeth's husband. And she got hopping mad and hung up. Four children. Four children. Just search the term. How many children does Queen Elizabeth have? That's all I put into the search engine. You'll get it. It's official. No one can deny it. So these are the people lecturing us on all this. Now, continuing. I mean, I could go on for hours, but these are short videos. Remember this? I showed you this a few weeks ago. Nat Rothschild, worth tens of billions, hanging out with corrupt Russian business tycoons that have sucked Russia dry on record. Every time these tycoons get arrested, it turns out they're fronts for the Rothschilds. Let's even come out in the Financial Times of London. This guy has multi-million dollar parties, giant private yachts, hundreds of guests, British ministers meeting in secret, private islands, giant yachts, supermodels, helicopters landing, private jets. But see, that's okay. They're the elite. And they've all got a whole bunch of children. The head of BP right there. This is disgusting. It's wrong, and it's time for people to wake up and get angry. They're teaching you to be guilty, so you hate your instinct for life and preservation of children. They want to be able to set a precedent to control our genetic future and to tell us how many kids we can have. It's total control. It's about breaking our will. Everything they do. Can't have a garden in your yard. Can't pack your kids to school lunch. How many children you can have. Uh, the TSA is going to stick their hands down your pants. It's all about domination and control by these tyrants who want to train us to give up living and turn the world over to them and the life extension technologies as well. And it's time to expose them and send this video out to all your fake so-called liberal friends that are really just modern Nazis and so brainwashed they don't even know it. Time to wake up.